Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with the prophetic word of encouragement for those of you who have a prophetic word for restoration and reconciliation in your marriage specifically, but also for your family to see loved ones come back home or whatever you are believing God for. Do not cast away your confidence. That is the word that I want to encourage you. There is a prophetic word that I released about God restoring marriages and bringing reconciliation to marriages that were on the brink of divorce, have already been divorced, or are separated, or just in a really hard place that God wants to reconcile because it is a season where God is telling us to enter into the rest of faith. And then he is going to restore that which has been lost he is going to not only restore but he is going to uh, recover everything that is lost or give you the ability to recover everything that has been lost to you in our last season and he is going to restore recover bring reconciliation and bring rest so that's four things entering into god's rest there is a rest that you have to enter into for god it for faith to work those who believe do enter in god's rest stop trying to do it in your own strength power and might but enter into god's rest but then there's a rest that the person who wins the battle enters into so you're going to begin this season in rest and then you're going to end in another type of rest the type of rest that you have when rest that you have when you um, have successfully overcome and you enter into a time of peace where you have received what you have believed god for um physically the physical manifestation the fulfillment of that promise the victory um, that you have won, fought and won. And so God wants you to be in rest. But during when you enter into the first stage of rest, he's going to bring the recovery of things. He's going to bring the restoration of relationships and marriages and, and um, just all kinds of relationships and families. And then he's going to bring that reconciliation to bring people back together that were torn apart and to bring those people back together that were torn apart from the Lord as well. And so he wants to do that for you. He wants to bring those things to you. But as you're waiting for the Lord, and I'm just looking up the scripture here, Hebrews 10 20, 35 says, do not cast away your confidence because um, it has a great reward. And so casting away your confidence is throwing it away, is giving up on your faith and your hope and your courage to stand in faith and wait for God to do what he said he's going to do. We've had, we've all had those times where we've cast it in our confidence, where we've thrown in the towel, where we've given up. But thanks be unto God, he causes us to triumph. He gives us another chance. He says, get back up and fight. Nevertheless, go up again, like he told Peter, to cast down his net on the other side, even though he had been fishing all night and caught nothing he said but at your word and so I want to encourage someone today to not cast in the towel in this season maybe that's what you did in the last season that you gave up too soon but for some reason God has drawn you back to continue to believe to continue to stand or to come back into that place where you are believing for that relationship to be re restored and reconciled whether it's a marriage or maybe it's with your children or your siblings or or a loved one or a friend that um, something happened that broke up the relationship but God is saying to you to um, stand again and believe and don't cast away your confidence don't throw it away verse 34 says for let's see <laughs> oh no verse 30 6 says after 35 therefore do not cast away your confidence which has great recompense of reward for you have need of endurance or patience that after you have done the will of God you may receive the promise sometimes after we finish doing what God told us to do we've prayed everything that we know to pray we've stood on his word we're standing and it just seems like what now that's when you rest that's when you don't try and figure it out that's when you don't look at the outward conditions like Abraham did not give in to 
what was going on the outward. He did not um, pay attention to those things that were happening. He did not uh, give attention to or consider, the Bible uses the word, consider um, the deadness of Sarah's womb or his age, but he considered that God was able to do what he had promised. And so, and then he had to rest in that giving glory to God. So when you're feeling down, when things are looking hard, when everything around you is looking opposite of what God promised you and what you're believing for, and what the prophet word was spoken over your life, then you just give glory to God, believing that he is able to do what he's promised, not by might nor by power, but by his spirit. And so get rid of doubt and fear and just rest in the faith of what God said. Rest in the faithfulness in God and let your faith work. Do not take back what you said. Do not throw in the towel. Don't let what you see with your natural eye cause you to undo by your words what you said when God showed you in the spirit what he has promised you because he has entrusted you with the lives that you are believing God for. Sometimes it's not just about what we want, but it's about what God has entrusted us to believe God for. So if you're standing in the gap for maybe your children who are backslidden, or maybe it's a parent, maybe you're an adult or you're a young person and you really want to see your parent come to Christ. I have girlfriends who are my age, almost 50, who who, saw, who prayed and believed for their moms or their dads to come to Christ as 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 adults. Um, they wanted to see their children's grandchildren and grandparents come to Christ. And so you can believe even for your adult parents. We can believe for our adult children. You can believe for restoration of a marriage that's dead. If God is giving you the word, it's up to you to walk in peace, number one, not to let it get you out of peace or rule you because God has called you to peace. But it's up to you what you believe because the Bible says that all things are possible to those that believe. And if you remove doubt from you, then you can have what you say if you believe in your heart that God, uh, that it will happen, then God will bring it to pass if it's according to his will. And so I just want to encourage you to not throw in the towel. Don't cast away your confidence. You have need of patience. You have need of endurance. Stand still. Be still. If there's nothing that you can else you can do, if you've done all you know you can do, then just um, continue to trust God and enjoy your life <laughs> while you wait. Enjoy your life and get on with what God has called you to do. Don't get stuck in an old season waiting for God to deliver your loved ones or to bring your marriage back together. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to work on your dreams. Continue to do what God has called you to do. So I just wanted to share that. I'm on a break right now um, working from home. And so um, if you need to understand what uh, God is calling you to do and you are a little confused about what he's calling you to focus on, I want you to download the five clarifying questions and that will take you through what God is asking you to lean into what you need to give your time and attention to so that you can experience the beauty, the blessings, the purpose, and the lessons that God has for you in this season, and that you will not focus on other things and be distracted, but you will learn to lean in, to listen to God, and you will um, know what you need to lay down and let go of so that you can keep lifted in prayer what God has for you has entrusted to you to stay lifted in prayer to keep lifted in prayer in this season and then finally um, I encourage you to join me tomorrow morning in prayer which is where that scripture came from as I was praying about what to pray about tomorrow uh, with people he said confidence help people not to cast away their confidence so if you want to join me here at 7 30 a.m pst tomorrow um which is saturday march 19th if you're watching this at another date then you can join me the next saturday but as far as this saturday join me in prayer and we're going to be talking about confidence and you can always watch the prayer if you uh, if you miss it or if you don't see this video until after Saturday, um, then you can go back and just find the prayer. Matter of fact, I will link it so that you can join us in prayer or rewatch it later. 
prayer will be live. Um, God bless you. I hope this blesses you and encourages you. I know that so many of you are um, believing God for your marriages. And when I released that word, I had no idea that men and women would respond. And there are people who are believing God to be remarried and to find a spouse. But there are those who want to see God restore the marriage that they have with their spouse. And some are even believing against all odds when it seems impossible. And so I stand with you and I believe with you. This is the season where the Lord gave me the word to believe. And so I am believing God for impossible things in my own life and situation. And then not things that are not impossible because with God, all, all things are possible. And there are things that God said that I could have. There's prophetic words that he has spoken to me that he said there is no time limit on there's no season on the only uh, there's no expiration date on the only thing that I need to do is believe and not to give up and I have need of endurance and patience just like you but I've thrown in the towel before but then he says get back in the ring we're not done these are your promises this is a season of rest restoration recovery and reconciliation and I want to do this for you if you will walk with me and not be distracted not get pulled away into other things but hold on in this season against what the enemy is telling you um, to go and do other things and so I am all in in this season and just trusting God to see the salvation of the Lord and so God bless you until actually tomorrow or next time God bless you